She is as intelligent as she holds the capacity for compassion for children in this planet and on others. There's only one being like this that I've ever met, and I will introduce her now. Remember, please, her first language is French. She's going to do her very best to read to you in Anglais, in English, and we will give her the time that she needs. Elena Denam will be on standby also for translation. But ladies and gentlemen, it is my privilege and honor for the first time on this stage to invite Melanie Charest. Woo! to be with you today. I probably make some pronunciation mistakes in English, but I do my best, okay? Thank you. <clears throat> my name is Melanie Charret. I am coach, therapist, hypnologist. I worked uh, as an educator with children from three months to 12 years old. I am the mother too of three children, a girl. And I love everything to do with well-being, especially that of children. I've had extraterrestrial experience and I want to tell you about my memories of this experience. 
I'm not here to convince you of anything. You are free to make your one belief and choice. Choices? Choices. <laughs> I'm simply here to share my experience with you. I received many messages from people who have heard my story for telling me that it did them a world of good. <laughs> it's a long <laughs> <laughs> and that they cried and we're touched to know that exist mm -hmm. that they're not crazy and that now they don't feel alone <clears throat> I love what I do helping people in my practice I'm going to talk about three different temps. Okay, the, the, the first time it's my uh, abduction. Okay, uh, many of you probably see the film, The Sound of Freedom, yeah? <laughs> the documentary film, tell part of Tim Ballar, life story. It talk about child trafficking. All this thing is exists here, but beyond too. Now you see where I'm going with this, with my addiction. It, it's like, it's like, It's like my friends told me. When these memories resurfaced, it was very difficult. You know my love? Yes. I cried a lot for four hours, non-stop. My whole body was in shock and my brain was making a lot of connection with my physical and emotional symptoms. I was able to make sense of various events and experience that I've been, been missing explanation for. Oh my God. What happened when I was hospitalized uh, for sunstroke at the age of uh, seven, eight years old? And by the way, it's the same hospital where I was born, near the military base. And I want to know the time when, with my grandmother to a party of the base, when I was about, about uh, four, four or five uh, years old. We were asked to line up in single field in the same place, like uh, Tony uh, a montré, uh, Tony show. show in the, the picture. And we're all wearing the same beige cloth. I, I spare you a few painful detail, okay? Because it's it's true, uh, true, strong. So, uh. <clears throat> and the guard takes us to a sort of triage. They classify you according to certain criteria. Is, is, uh, oh my God. Sorry about that. And I'm classified 
and to the group of those who have an uh, interesting genetic baggage from them. We are shipped to different places depending uh, on uh, our uh, usefulness. After extraction, extracting me from this place, the members of the rescue team took good care of me. Once I had reco reco oh, recovered, recovered, and my memories and the hidden, suppressed, yeah, cachet, yeah. Uh, they took me body back to the age of uh, four. Now, let me tell you uh, what I remember about the rescues or team, Jean-Charles and I used to do. That's a Solaris. I go outside and I take a picture to say... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's a good picture. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, a ship like the Solaris will, will stay at a certain distance so as not to be uh, spotted and will go into a state of invisibility if necessary. We'll move them into medical beds and help them rebuild, rebu rebuild their emotional ill. <laughs> Children who have been rescued need to be approached with gentleness and compassion. People who work directly with children know who to handle them with passions and love. I sometimes hear people say that we're lucky to have experience with extraterrestrials. Don't be envious of the galactic experience of whistleblowers. We decide to come here to do this. We know this mission won't be an easy job and that we're on the front line taking the bullet. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. For the love of truth and humanity, let's be beacons for all children on earth and beyond. Thank you.